Hello and welcome back. Today we will do lecture 2-2, Sensors and Perception. The purpose of this lecture is to describe the role of sensors and perception in robot control. Sensors provide a robot with its perception of the world. Perception provides cognition to the robot to give it some understanding of what's going on in its environment so that it knows how to make a plan and to act upon the world. The objectives of today's lecture are to define perception in the control spectrum, to compare passive and active sensors, to compare simple and complex sensors, to compare exteroceptive and proprioceptive sensors, and to define feature extraction. One of the most important tasks of an autonomous mobile robot is perception. Perception is used for the robot to acquire knowledge from its environment. Perception involves taking measurements using various sensors and extracting meaningful information. Perception in a reactive robot system has two roles, release the behavior and guide the actions of the behavior. All sensing is behavior specific. The sensor or transducer is a device that measures the attributes of the world. A transducer is the mechanism of a sensor that transforms the energy associated with what is measured into another form of energy. For example, sound, light, pressure, temperature to an analog or digital signal. A robot's intelligence depends upon the quality and quantity of its sensors. A robot's intelligence is typically measured by the diversity of its sensor suite, the ability to process and speed of processing sensory input. Sensing allows a robot to know its state or description of itself at any point in time. A robot's state may be visible, partially hidden or hidden, and the state may be discrete or continuous. Sensing scheme. Perception is when the robot uses the sensor information to extract useful information about the robot's internal or external set. The model of the robot's world, internal and external, is called representation. An example of an internal state would be battery power or effectors or awareness if everything is working on the, or the robot's size. An example of an external state would be what is the robot's world, where is the robot, what objects are around it, etc. A state space consists of all the possible states a system can be in. External state is the robot's perception of the world, and that's found from exteroceptive sensors. And the internal state is the robot's perception of itself. That's found from proprioceptive sensors. Representation or an internal model is created when a robot uses its internal state to remember information about the world. A robot sensor space or perceptual space is the space of all possible sensory readings based upon all of the robot sensors. Proprioceptive sensors perceive elements in the robot's internal state, for example, encoders on motors for distance or velocity or battery voltage. Exteroceptive sensors perceive elements in the state of the external world around the robot, for example, infrared sensors for distance, temperature, or light intensity. Proprioceptive and exteroceptive sensors combine to make the robot's perceptual system. Active versus passive sensors. Whether a sensor is active or passive is determined by the mechanism used to extra extract data. Active sensors emit some form of energy and then measure the return to understand the environment. For example, sonar, laser, infrared. Passive sensors receive energy already in the environment, for example, camera, thermal, or bumpers. Simple versus complex sensors. Whether a sensor is simple or complex is determined by the amount of processing data it requires. Simple sensors do not require a great deal of processing or computation, but the information they provide is simple or limited. For example, light levels, presence or absence of objects, or distance to objects. Complex sensors require a great deal of processing or computation to extract meaningful data, such as a camera for computer vision or image processing. Passive sensors can be simple or complex. The camera is a complex passive sensor. GPS is a complex active sensor. Active sensors are not necessarily complex. Lasers are simple active sensors, and bumpers are simple passive sensors.